I'm Nick Pettit. I'm Jason Seifer. And you're watching The Treehouse Show, your weekly dose of internets where we talk about all things web design, web development, and more. In this episode of The Treehouse Show, we'll be talking about the HTML5 progress element, a cool JavaScript slider, and learning jQuery. Let's check it out. So first up, we'll be talking about the HTML5 progress element. And this is over on the HTML5 doctor blog. And let's just say the HTML5 doctor is in. Always wanted to say that. So the progress element is something that you're probably used to seeing in a desktop application where you'll see a progress bar as something is being loaded. Now, the progress element is actually something that's part of the HTML5 specification. And this blog post over on the HTML5 Doctor blog walks you through how you're going to use this in your sites. Now, what would you use this for? Well, one example that they give is an HTML5 video that is playing. Using the progress element, you can actually load up the amount of the video that's played so far or if you have different assets that are downloading, you know, for example, the video, while that's downloading, you can actually increase the progress bar as it goes along. Now, there's some nuances to how this is gonna work, so make sure that you check out this blog post. And if I haven't already mentioned the site, it's at the html5doctor.com. I feel like we're making real progress here, Jason. Me too. Cool. It's what our therapist said too. Next up is the interactive guide to blog typography. This is an amazing website. So on the left side here, you have the list of contents and they teach things like layout, line height, visual hierarchy, etc. So when you click on one of these, the right side will actually turn into a demonstration of the concept that's being taught. So on the left, they talk about visual hierarchy here and how that can help you design a better blog. And on the right, you have an example. So they also talk about line height and they focus on you know particular aspects of that, but very cool, definitely worth checking out if you're designing a brand new blog and you want it to have really cool typography. And don't we all? Definitely. Next up, we have a project called the 360 Slider. Now, this is an interesting take on the usual slider plugin. This is built for jQuery and I'll just go ahead and show you the example first. What this does is this lets you take an image and then you can see on the right side of the screen here, there are a couple arrows. Now the image they have right here is a car and if I hold down my mouse button and move it to the right, the car spins. How amazing is that? Do you have any idea how strong you would have to be in real life to accomplish the same thing? Pretty strong. Yeah. Luckily, we're just using a jQuery plugin that has a lot of different options. Whew. So yeah. That's called leverage. Yeah. So the way this is accomplished is actually with a series of images that go through all of the different parts of the spinning animation. Now the plugin lets you configure the different images. You can say, okay, there's 50 different images that make up the full 360 degree spin of the car or you know whatever you want to be spinning on your site. And then you put all of those in a directory and the plugin just magically works as you spin through them and scroll through. Uh, it also can play automatically. So pretty interesting plugin. This would be really useful as you might expect on maybe a car dealership site or a lot of e-commerce sites. Or just, yeah, e-commerce sites where you're trying to sell physical products and it's helpful to see all different angles of it. Dating sites. Yeah. Whatever. You know, just a lot of examples. Next up is this really amazing blog post about landing pages. So it's called Step-by-Step -step Landing Page copywriting and at the start they warn you that this is a really long blog post and that's almost an understatement <laughs> in itself. This now, is an now Nick, what is a landing page? This is an incredibly long blog post about landing pages, which are basically these pages that you use to market your application or you know market whatever you're trying to market basically. It could be for an e-commerce site, could be for events, etc. So this is the URL that you might post on Twitter or you might post on whatever advertising channels you're using. And it would be the website that people type in or click through and go to. And it's kind of like a, in a lot of cases, it's a summary of your website or your product or service or event that just kind of ties all the loose ends together 
so, and gives people a quick 360 view. So basically, you know, if you're trying to sell your app, this is sort of like a sales funnel to say, okay, exactly. here, you know, let me get your name, email address, I'll send you a brochure. Or, you know, you can have a call to action right on the, the page. So say, for example, you're trying to market to different verticals or different demographics, you might create multiple landing pages that you can use to kind of segment your market. And then on those landing pages, you have a call to action to go ahead and sign up for your service or buy your product. So this is obviously really important to sales and marketing. And so it's great that there's such a incredibly comprehensive post about exactly how to do this. And like I said, this is a very, very long blog post. <laughs> it's still going. But it oh has a gosh. lot of great information. Yeah, lots of great stuff there. So definitely check it out. And what a great opportunity for a segue because next up we have the jQuery Learning Center. Look at that. Yeah, so the jQuery Learning Center is currently a beta site, but as you might expect, this goes through and teaches you jQuery. A lot of different resources for both users of jQuery and authors of jQuery plugins. Uh, just talking about jQuery, you know, talking about JavaScript 101, what jQuery is, how to use the different effects and events, even, you know, working with jQuery Ajax. So you can actually contribute to this site if you want to, you know, if you see any glaring omissions or some typos, it's hosted on GitHub. And so you can submit a pull request or, you know, so fix it yourself. Um, but so far, great site, pretty in-depth post, definitely check it out. Very cool. Next up is the Web Font Combinator. And this is a tool to allow you to test different fonts, different font sizes, different colors, etc., before you actually implement them in your website. So here I can go ahead and select, say, the header. And I can choose a font here. So I'll pick another font. That actually looks pretty terrible, but you get the idea. And then we can go ahead and change the size of it. I can change the line height. I can change the color. And it looks like we're getting into some 90s web design here. Uh, Where's 90s web design guy when you need him? Basically, you can go ahead and click on the first level headline, second level headline, and paragraph text, and go ahead and combine them to just quickly prototype and see what that's actually going to look like before you spend a lot of time digging into your CSS and actually, you know, grabbing different fonts. I mean, you can spend a lot of time just trying to figure out what fonts and colors you want to use on your website. So this isn't quite as good as doing it in context, but it's at least a good tool to get started and just quickly prototype stuff. Yeah, get an idea for what kind of fonts you like. Yep. Next up, we have a project called Icons DB. This is a huge collection of free icons that you can use in your application. And it's nice because it supports search and there's also different groups of icons. So you can even, you know, search for different colors and check out all the different icons they have. Um, they're grouped over on the right here. So if you want an acorn icon, there's a bunch of different uh, acorn icons that you can have. So that might be useful if you're making, say, Facebook for squirrels. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Acorn Book. Awesome. Yeah. So that's over at IconsDB.com. And unfortunately for everyone, I think that we're just about out of time here. Nick, who are you on Twitter? I'm at NickRP. And I am at JCypher. Thanks so much for watching this episode of The Treehouse Show. For show notes and more, check out our YouTube channel at YouTube.com slash GoTreehouse. And of course, if you'd like to watch more videos like this one about web design, web development, mobile development, business, and more, be sure to check us out at teamtreehouse.com. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next week. If you'd like to see more advanced videos and tutorials like this one, go to teamtreehouse.com and start learning for free.